انا ابو هذا كيف ان شاء Guys, I've had my fair share of decent meows in my life, and I'm telling you, ain't none of them worth dying for. This is why you need to leave married women alone. Find yourself a single woman as long as she's not a single mom. Damn, baby, you're looking good. All right, <laughs> text me when you get there, yeah? Okay, I'll text you, and you need anything? Yeah, can you get me something to shop? Yeah, I can get it. All right, bye. Okay. <laughs> My last relationship, we broke up because he asked me to marry him, but then he asked me to sign a prenuptial agreement, and I said, absolutely not. I think that's bogus. I'm not going to sign a piece of paper that says that if you leave me, I get nothing. Like, no, I think that I should have half of everything that you've worked your entire life for, and I think that's fair. Bitches be crazy. This whole Simone Biles situation really proves what we've been saying all along, boys is that women hate to see other women happy. Their misery is always begging for company. What was your reaction? I was sitting on the chair. You just couldn't see me on the video. I just thought that was funny because, and I thought that was cute that he thought he was good at everything. And You're then I go corner. on Twitter and everybody's like, divorce this man, he's mean. And I'm like, he's the sweetest. And he never said I wasn't a catch. He said he was a catch because he is. I've never met a man like him. A lot of people that meet him are like, Oh my gosh. Yeah, God forbids a man have self-worth knowing that he should be loved just the way he wants to love his woman. What, what is that? that? What the fuck is that? The third graders are calling me fat? Yeah. They're saying I'm fat, me. They heard, they, you, yeah. they, you, you heard them say it was me. Yeah. What did they say? Like, your mama's so fat <coughs> that, that something, something. I don't know. I can't hear them. What'd you say? <laughs> what did you say to defend me? How do you know about that? <laughs> Sensational. It's always wonderful to come across videos like this of a woman who aged and gained wisdom. Why do you not talk to your girlfriends about your marriage? Would a queen talk to a chambermaid about the king? How would the chambermaid understand what it is that the queen is going through? or has to understand. Why am I gonna go get advice from somebody who has a failed marriage, who doesn't understand what it's like to be with a man like that? People. Number two, if I go and tell my friend how horrible Grant was about something, which there's two sides of the story, and then I'm gonna go make up with Grant, but now I've told them that Grant is domineering. Grant is controlling. He only thinks about himself. They're stuck with that. So now I've made up with my husband. I go hang out with my best friend, Susie Q. She's like, so how's Grant? Oh, is he doing the domineering thing again? Boom. I'm lit back up. Didn't even have a fight with him but I'm lit back up. Either I'm trying to now talk to her and convince her that my husband isn't the piece of garbage that I made him out to be earlier. I'm trying to convince her of that or I'm reignited about the upset and how he does not treat me with respect and he does treat me like a, and I'm always doing this for him and he doesn't do that. And then boom, now I'm home with my husband and guess what? He does one little thing where he's like, I'm going here um, to do this. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, oh, really? Oh, so it's my job to take care of the kids. Oh, you just get to do whatever you want because you just think about only yourself. Do you understand? Yeah. I've just now picked a fight that wasn't even there because I'm all re-stimulated from this conversation that I had with this girl. Yep, and she's so right. That's why you should always speak highly of your partner because two things happen. One, you've painted a negative picture of that person in your friend's mind, so now everyone disliked that person because of how we perceive that person is treating you. And two, you've ruined both of your reputations because one, everybody's looking at your partner as being a piece of shit, and two, everyone looks at you as a fool who don't have any self-respect because from what you tell us, why are you still with that person do better than that every praise is to our god every praise yeah that brother's starving yes, sir, brother. <laughs> what's the woman's role in a relationship women give in non-tangible ways 
we give in energy. When you are with a, with a high value woman, you will not dictate if she's high value, but what she's doing for you. You will dictate if she's high value, but the way she makes you feel. So what women bring to the table, most of the time, all of the time, the feminine energy itself is not something that is tangible. It's not something that you can see. It's something that you can feel on an energetic level. And what is a woman's role in a man's life is how good are you able to make this man feel? How respected are you, are you able to make him feel? How confident you're able to make him feel? How much status you would give him? Like, is he proud to walk with you on the street and say, hey, that's my woman. So I believe if you are a woman who is able to give that to a man's life, you nailed it. Oh yeah, I found a bunch of smart women today, bruvs. And that's so true. I'm telling you, sometimes I feel upset. I don't feel good. I feel a little down. And my wife, I don't know how she sends it because I don't say nothing, but she would just get up, walk over, and she rubs the top of my head. She just stands there, rubs the top of my head, and then walk away. And that makes me feel good. Now, which head she rubbed? <laughs> Y'all figure it out. Love my voice. What do you think I look like? Uh, that's actually a really good question. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Can I see though? Sure. I don't. Based off my voice, do I seem attractive? Like, um, like attractive? I, uh, sure. So yeah, that's me, Max. Hey. What do you mean, hell? You're a victim. Mm. This is my sneaky link, and I think I'm the first black girl he's ever been with. How do you like it? I feel like you're racist. Come in. <laughs> Did y'all see the video of the lady who said her boyfriend of eight years, her boyfriend of eight years bought a home and did not include her on the deed? He moved her in and she is paying him rent so that he can pay his mortgage. She's a home renovator for a living. She is renovating his home for free. Sound like a real nigga to me. There's a double standard though. If a man said, oh yeah, when, my, when, when I married my lady, she had $15,000 in her account. Working with me over the two years, now she got 120 in there. And I got two properties in her name. They're going to applaud him. They're going to applaud her. They're going to say the marriage strong. Let a woman say, Come on. when my man came to me, he hadn't finished school yet. He didn't have good credit. And after two years with me, I built his credit up. I put him through school and I got him two houses. They're going to look at him like he a bum and they're going to look at her like she, she dumb. Like she that's because people don't value partnerships. Everyone in the world judges modern day relationships traditionally, like if that's how the world still works. Just take me for example, all the stuff that I, well not all, but a lot of the equipment that I use here to record and make YouTube videos, my wife bought it for me. Oh, I guess that makes me a bum, okay. But I know for sure, if my YouTube blows up and it makes a bunch of money, she's gonna be reaping the same benefits. And that's what people don't look at. Nobody looks at the partnership side. But hey guys, that's the end of the video. My name is AJ, y'all can call me the god. If y'all like this video, go ahead, hit that like and that subscribe button for more of this non-sugarcoating content.